pretty one, Ulysses. There it is. Hello, Booktube. I'm Sean, the Book Maniac. Welcome back to my channel. Here I am with another Friday Reads. Beautiful day, not so warm, but t-shirt weather for me. Yeah, I got some news. Nothing earth shattering this week, but I just want to again remind people that might not have seen the last party reads or might not have seen the videos in question, but I hit a thousand subscribers about 10 days ago or something like that. And I have two things going on on my channel about that. One's a book giveaway. One is something mysteriously called camera flip that's going very well. So please, I'll put the link in the show notes. Please get involved because those are limited time offers. Uh, something interesting that Sean of On The Stoop, who st still seems active on Booktube and on Twitter, but not on his channel, so I would love to see him make more videos again, uh, left a very insightful comment on my channel. It kind of crystallized things of something that I'd been thinking about myself, but his comment really um, made me think about it even more, which is since I've immersed myself in buddy reads galore i haven't been bailing nearly as much and he asked do you think those two things are related and yes i do so that's very interesting i'm less likely to bail on a book if i'm buddy reading it with someone because it's kind of fun to bitch about it and keep going through the process now the exception to that rule was the <laughs> the three musketeers buddy read of the Iris Murdoch, where we all, I guess, Wilson Wilson can tell you his story, but I, certainly Chris and I bailed, and that, that didn't, that buddy really didn't stop me from bailing, but, um, you know, I've had so few bails. I have, a, I have some bails to tell you about today, so don't worry, you're, you uh, don't, don't have to uh, worry about me so much <laughs> anymore after this week, but it, I definitely am bailing less the more that I buddy read, and buddy reads are just you know, if you get the right people, they're just a mix. Guess I better put my feet on the on the tripod. Hey, that was a close call. I think we're I think we're secure now. I finished one book only. I have finished Soviet Milk by Nora Ekstina, translated by Margita Gailaitis. Didn't love it, didn't really like it. Had some definite strengths, but some overpowering weaknesses. I have a full review that, which just went, went live on my channel about an hour ago, so you can check it for more details. But basically, the bang you on your head symbolism of this book ruined it for me. But I still appreciated the characterization of the mother and daughter, but it was a bit of a failure for me. Uh, this was a buddy read with Britta Bowler and uh, enjoyed that very much. I have two bales to tell you about. Are you satisfied? Is that enough for you? Am I uh, re reclaiming my image? As I hinted the last two weeks, I did finally go back to that audiobook and listen to a few more minutes, maybe 20 more minutes. Everything Here is Beautiful by Mira T. Lee. And I just couldn't shake the, the um, how much I hated the um, male character, the the main character. She was never a narrator, or at least not up to the point where I got to, but she was the, the sister of one of the narrators that had uh, mental health struggles. And her boyfriend, he wasn't a bad person. He just irritated the hell out of me, and I think it was at least 50%, but maybe more, the audio narrator's voice. And this, his point of view just went on and on, and I was dying to get back to the sister, because her both audio narration and her character was so lovely. And I really liked the main character's first husband. He wasn't a point of view character, but he was really interesting. But this guy was just unbelievable. There's something really hokey about him that I couldn't stand. So I may try it again textually, but I bailed. And this didn't last very long. I have bailed on All the Beloved Ghosts, the short story collection by the supposedly Canadian author Alison McLeod, who's been living in the UK since the late 17th century. Didn't like them. The first story that I excerpted last week I thought was really powerful but had a really weak ending. It disappointed me. It was so pat. The second story was just awful. And I got about 20 pages in to... No, no, no. 
uh, five or six pages into the third story and you know what happened you pro you may many of you may not have watched my latest my second booktube parasite video because it's 30 minutes long i made the mistake that i made was i did it based on Ange of beyond the pages book haul from three years ago and it was a two-part video and she talked about 40 books so I should have divided my video into two parts as well so I know a lot of people just won't even start to watch a video that's 30 minutes and I'm sorry because I I was really happy with the result and I had a good time but that's not the point of this anecdote this this uh, tangent one of the books that I sampled from her video was a collection of stories by Catherine Mansfield who I'd never read and I just fell in love with the opening section of this one story so I'm reading this and it's just feeling mediocre mediocre and he, I want to read Catherine Mansfield so bailed on this and immediately started in just a, a, about an hour ago I started in on her most famous collection the garden party and am swept away by the first few pages of the first story I like reading new authors and contemporary fiction and debuts but sometimes I just get a craving, give me some goddamn shapely fiction. I don't want to deal with any flaws of any kind, especially after reading a very mediocre book, The Soviet, Soviet Milk. I, just, I want something that's really good. So I made it happen. So those are my two bales. And it's a little anticlimactic, but I started one book, The Garden Party by Catherine Mansfield. Curtis of Curtis Books and Films made a comment that he has been reading it and found it completely stunning. Jer, one of my frequent commenters, said in a comment the other day that Catherine Mansfield was the only writer that Virginia Woolf was jealous of, so that's pretty high praise. So the longest section of my <laughs> Friday Reads is my TBR for the coming week. <laughs> it's out of control. So I have to finish. I am going to finish a bunch of books, but I'm going to push, going to try to push myself to finish even more than is probably reasonable, just because I am starting four new books <laughs> in the next week. First of all, a quick update. I have mentioned twice this book, this novel by Karis Davies called West, and saying that I didn't start it, didn't get to it. Well, again, update. Doris of Aldi Books made a comment on my Friday Reads last year, last week, that she was interested in buddy reading it with me, and her timing, it's better to start it at the end of the month, so that's actually a big relief to me. I'd be so happy to do my first buddy read with Doris, and also to kick that one down, down the road a little bit. So that is delayed till the end of the month, but I will get to it. In the meantime, <laughs> starting four new books, and all of them... All of them are buddy reads. So probably none of them will be bales. Well, I can't guarantee it for the first one. The first one is, and I mentioned it last week, a thriller, kind of a thriller mystery novel called Mischief by Charlotte Armstrong. It was mentioned in the book of Forgotten Authors that I talked about at length last week. So I'm buddy reading the Forgotten Authors book with Ange of all the pages and we're going to pause that buddy read to do this read this 150 page novel mischief this weekend two-day buddy read i have a ridiculous allergy to genre fiction so it's going to be very interesting maybe i'll bail maybe i'll enjoy it who knows but that's the kind of mischief i'll be getting up to this weekend how about you <laughs> later next week I am doing a buddy read, rereading one of the best books I read last year, E.F. Benson's Map and Lucia, a 1935 humorous novel from the UK. And I usually don't like reading humorous fiction, and I love this book so much. So I'm buddy reading this with someone who's not on booktube. I wish she was, would be, but she's very camera shy apparently. But a good friend of mine on Litzy, Leah. Uh, not Leah of hide-and-seek. This is Canadian Leah, different spelling of her name, and I won't even 
don't even know if she wants me to say where she lives in Canada, but she's a lovely, lovely person and she's never read it and I wanted to reread it because then we're going to go on and buddy read a biography of Benson that she actually gave me as a gift. So it's a two-parter E.F. Benson buddy read. I'll have a lot more to say about that as I'm rereading it. Also next week I am starting the buddy read of the I think it's a debut novel, but I'm not sure anyway. It's a really brand new novel by a, a writer, a gay writer, I think, Patrick Nathan, American, called Some Hell. And this is the one that I discovered through my first stab at the book to Parasite Tag, where I leached onto one of Chris of Chris Booker's Cauldron's videos and absolutely loved the first few pages of this novel. So he and I are going to buddy read it next week. I'm just really excited because I don't know if you, if you didn't see that original book to parasite tag video it's worth going back just to hear the excerpt of the first opening paragraphs because how could you not want to read it after hearing that so I'm so excited and no Chris of Chris Booker's Cauldron and Wilson Shugart as far as I know did not have a fight but I'm starting a separate buddy read with Wilson Shugart of a book that I've been dying to read since I first encountered its page 112 on one of my early page 112 tags. It's the best page 112 of any of the videos I've ever made. The Nigerian novel The Famished Road by Ben Okri. Now I've heard it pronounced Okri and Okri both. I've done a, quite a bit of research and I can't find a definitive source but I'm going to go with Okri for now. But this Booker Prize winning novel I've been dying to read since I got it as a, it was on a Facebook kind of pyramid gift exchange. It was one of the few books that I actually got in the mail from that. And then when I sampled that one page, it was just riveting. So Wilson and I will be starting it. So that's what's going on in my reading world. This weekend, I should have, well, this, re this weekend my focus will be to finish up This Must Be the Place by Maggie O'Farrell. Should be, should almost finish that tonight, finish it up tomorrow, finish the Buddy Read collaboration video in the next few days, and start and complete Mischief by Charlotte Armstrong, and try to keep up with a bunch of other books that I'd like to clear off before I start this staggering number of Buddy Reads. What's up with you this weekend, reading-wise or otherwise? Have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.